Hello, and welcome to another edition of U News, where you get U News. Our top story tonight is a little not safe for work. Several payment platforms like Cash App, PayPal, and Venmo all prohibit payment for anything sexual, leading sex workers to seek payment for their services in cryptocurrency. Several popular sex workers have become vocal advocates for crypto after being banned from other fiat platforms. This move has probably spurred a good bit of adoption all by itself, but it just goes to show that no matter whether the payment is centralized or decentralized, we're all just looking to be paid appropriately for our work, even if we're getting Moving over to Capitol Hill, a report by Mecca Networks says several eyes are on Senator Warren's crypto bill. The senator once claiming to be for the common people is now asking for tighter restrictions and regulations on DeFi, claiming it could be used for Russian financial crimes and evasion. Well, I'm glad several eyes are on this bill. Too bad it sounds like there are zero brains involved. Over in Trust Me Bro land, Dave Portnoy recently revealed in an interview that his $40,000 investment in SafeMoon at all-time high is now only worth $2,000. I didn't write a joke because that's it. That's the joke. He's 38 k in the hole. Moving south of the border, Mexico's third richest man claims that over 60% of his liquid capital is invested in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin-related ETFs, saying that Bitcoin is the best international asset of liquidity and should be in everyone's portfolio. But he's probably the third richest person in Mexico and not the first because he chose buying crypto instead of the old-fashioned way of selling drugs to America. Our last story is some bullish news. To kick off Bitcoin Con, Miami revealed their own tech-looking version of Wall Street's bull statue to stake their claim as the crypto center of the U.S. It was inspiring and exciting, until they noticed that a notable asset was missing from said statue. The balls. But oh well, it's 2022, so I'm sure, despite lacking the physical pieces, this horned cow just identifies as a bull. Looks like this will be the only time Florida politicians let this one slide. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get useless news. I'm Tupac of Coors, and up next is Sunday at Fernie's. Thank <laughs> you.